Welcome back to the program, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my next guest has been called the sweetheart of rock and roll. Is that true? Uh, <laughs> Somebody has actually called you? Somebody's called you that before? Yes, my mom. Okay. <laughs> called by her mother, the sweetheart of rock and roll. She started her career as Meatloaf's sidekick and recently starred on Broadway in the Pirates of Penzance, an extremely versatile performer. Please welcome the sweetheart of rock and roll, Carla DeVito. <laughs> And roll. You know her, you love her, you can't live without her. It's the sweetheart of rock and roll. What's the uh, boy, what's the deal on those gloves? Well, this is my uh, prom queen gone bad outfit, I think. Oh, I would <laughs> guess so. That's it. Now, this is strange looking. Uh, <laughs> did you, is, uh, does this go with the song? Yes, or? I think this is the song, and it's, uh, you know, the meaning of where the boys are. I, I think so. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so you traveled with meatloaf. Yes, for a year. Wow. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> now, what? Uh, how much does he weigh, or did he weigh? Uh, I don't know, but in Australia they said it was 12k, whatever that means. So. 12k. I don't. I don't know what or that means. Or stones, or something. It was, it was some stones? strange, He's a strange weight. Big human. Uh, it's very large. I was the woman behind the loaf. Yes. <laughs> uh, so and and was that fun being was uh, traveling with a big fat guy? Uh, David, you know, I mean, people... Well, he knows he... He must know he's fat. <laughs> David! David, we can't be rude now, you know. I mean, he is large, and yes, I'm sure he knows he's large, so... Yeah. Um, <laughs> it now, was fun. It was better than joining the Navy. Uh, yeah. It was better than joining the Navy. Uh, was it, um, too, too much fun? No, no. I mean, I got to see the world. That's what's great. Yeah. Australia and, you know, Paris yeah. and Rome and, and, and London. From, and from there, uh, you went to, to Broadway, is that correct? Well, I, I started recording my own album, and then I uh, went to the Pirates of Pans Penzance yeah. on Broadway and uh, did that. Yeah. <laughs> now, now, was Meatloaf nice to you? He wasn't in the Pirates of Penzance. Oh, he, he didn't. He, he did. David, let's oh, just I leave thought, the loaf behind, I you thought, know? <laughs> I thought maybe you and Meatloaf worked... 
<laughs> as no, a team in no. the, uh, the, the operetta. A tag team, actually, in <laughs> oh, I wrestling, I, but no. I was confused there. Uh, and, and you're from a very small town in Illinois. Yes, uh, Mokina, Illinois. It means mud turtle in foreign tongues. No, I think in Indian. Uh -huh. Some Indian language. And, and what part of Illinois do we find that in? Uh, south of Chicago, but not about this far on the map, south of Chicago. Just so, uh, again... Depending on how big your map is. Yeah. So you, it's, tonight, so far, you've had yeah. trouble with meatloaf's weight, and yet you have some trouble estimating distances. I know. I, uh, think, this, I think we've learned something about me. <laughs> uh, and you, you, you also are a writer. Yes. What kind of things did you write? Well, uh, I'm writing songs for my next album right now, mm -hmm. and... Uh, but I have written comedy at some times. Uh, I wrote comedy for a dog act. You had a Doberman on here earlier. Yeah. Remind me of the old days. Yeah. Now, what, what kind of... <laughs> now, wait a second. There's something wrong with this audience, David. I know. They, it. All have filthy they, minds. they should not be laughing at the sweetheart no, of rock I wrote, and roll. No, I wrote satirical... <laughs> they should not... I wrote satirical comedy yeah, for a dog act. Dobermans are good at satire. They, they are, really are. Wonderful. You should have seen them portray poodles. It was, it was <laughs> fabulous. <laughs> uh, you also worked with the SCTV. We have Mr. Martin Short here, who, I'm sorry, I uh, Second City. I studied at Second yeah. City, but actually with Joe Forsberg, uh, who ran the children's theater there. She's uh -huh. a nice lady. Yeah. Uh, and uh, in addition to that, now you're doing, uh, you're working, you mentioned a new album. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> when, and, and, but I want to talk about your marriage. You recently, this is a showbiz marriage here. I know. I married Rip Taylor. <laughs> no, 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 just plenty of Robbie, darling. Just forgive me for that one. <laughs> she, yeah. Well, you mentioned who you're married to. Oh, yeah. Robbie Benson. Yeah. Now, is that, uh... <laughs> well... Is, is, is that fun? Yes, uh, I recommend marriage. I okay. think it's really great. All right, uh, all right. <laughs> it's really well, fun. On that note, we're going to pause here and uh, regroup. We'll be right Good back idea. with the more of Carla DeVito. <laughs> We're uh, back with the uh, sweetheart of rock and roll, Carla DeVito, and uh, you were, uh, when you were a child, you traded your, what was it you traded off? I traded uh, a Barbie doll dress for a copy of uh, Leslie Gore's record, It's My Party. Yeah. <laughs> and the rest, as they say, is history. Is history? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, and you wanted to mention you for the holidays, a little special... Right, a little special event. I uh, wrote this song with Robbie, uh, my husband. We wrote this Christmas song. The senior side of Christmas, it's called Santa Claus is Coming to My House. It's my fantasy about Santa. <laughs> hmm, hmm, <laughs> It's hmm. funny. Yeah. Uh, now, is this working out all right, uh, having a showbiz marriage? Is that a lot of pressure? Uh... Well, we don't, like, do little tap dances around the house or anything. No, I don't know. I, it's, I get, it's great if you're in love. It doesn't make any difference what you are or whatever yeah. you do. Yeah. Garbage man or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, uh, you, live, you live in Los Angeles? Uh, yes, right now. I, yeah. I'm living in LA. Yeah. All right, terrific. It was uh, great, for, uh, great for us to have you back here again. Well, it's great uh, to be the here. The sweetheart of rock and roll. Thank uh, you so Carla much. DeVito, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> no, stay right there. Sure. Stay right there. Uh, I'm, we have um, we have pretty much run out of time here. I'm awfully uh, sorry. Uh, Marty Short uh, will be rescheduled next week, and I would like to thank uh, Terry Jones, Carla DeVito also, our announcer Bill Wendell, Paul Schaefer and the band, and uh, the great studio audience. Thank you, folks. You were terrific. Now, uh, Monday, comedian Gary Mulder will be here, and Joey O'Halloran, Miss Subways of New York, 1976. Thanks for watching. Have a good weekend. Good night. Thank you.
folks. Our next guest is a singer, a songwriter, wife, mother, and she is the host of a brand new television program on MTV called Rock Influences. It's a pleasure to welcome Carla DeVito. How are you? Oh, well, you look great. Thank you. Nice to see you. What, uh, quickly describe what this is. What do we got here? This... Uh, well, this is, let me see. This, uh, Robbie used this on Paris Penzance. He put a sword in there. I didn't have a sword tonight, David. I oh, wanted to bring that out for you. And the rest of this is just things I've put together. But, but how would one describe this gown other than... Uh, I think sort of like Annie Get Your Gun Goes Wacky. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's certainly fetching. You look quite nice in it. Thank you. Congratulations Thank you. on many things. You got a, uh, a, a new child. Right. Now, how old is she now? She's 11 months exactly. And uh, what, what is this like all of a sudden having a, a young thing uh, around the house? It's, it's, David, it's better than a dog. You can have a baby's picture right over there in place of that dog. I just want <laughs> It's really great. Yeah. In fact, she just said her first uh, three-syllable word. Where basketball. No kidding. Doesn't that strike you as a little odd for a first? I think it's hereditary. <laughs> what, what was the first word, period? Uh, apple. Uh huh. Yeah, she, she likes apples. It was, came before Mama. Yeah. Or... Do you have photos? Do you want to show the photos, or would you David, rather. David, how did you know? I have a few photos here. Uh, just happened to in my little bag. Uh, here we have her objecting to the food. <laughs> she looks a little like Larry. <laughs> What is, what is her name? Her name's Lyric. <laughs> Lyric? Lyric. Yeah, yeah, she's beautiful. And here she is preparing for the Summer Olympics. Uh huh. All right, well, uh, introduce your husband's for oh, folks right. who may uh, not know. Oh, Robbie Benson's his name. Yeah. All right. Hey, Daddy. She calls him Daddo, in fact. Uh -huh. uh, she does, she's a little hipster, I think. And there she is playing. I like the ribbon I happen to have the hair. large size, too. You know, I, it comes in all sizes. When you're a mom, I guess. <laughs> That's great. And now, then the close up one more. Hey. All righty. Well, now, what was uh, uh, overall? How was your. Uh, she's a sweetie. <laughs> she gets them awesome. How was, your, how was it being pregnant? Was that uh, well, fun, surprising, or. Uh... I, think, I think that uh, pregnancy is a strange state of being. The hormones just take over, and, you know, whatever, you change your personality about 15 times. But uh, I gained a lot of weight, and uh, at the end. How much I, is a lot of weight for a pregnancy? A lot of weight is 50 pounds, David. Ooh. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Ooh, and, uh, 50 pounds. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, I was hoping towards the end that she would uh, weigh 25 pounds when she was born. <laughs> yeah. But I had no such luck. I had to, you know, lose it the hard way. Yeah, how much did she weigh when she was born? 8'3". Uh, so. so you really had your work cut out for you then afterward, huh? <laughs> well, I'm glad everything is going so well for you Great. with your family and Thank stuff. You. Now, now, tell me about the, the new television program, Rock Influences. What does that mean? What that means... Now, this is on a cable deal, isn't it? Right, it's on, on MTV. MTV. Right. Okay. And uh, it's being produced by Clairol. And what's going on is that it's about music from the past and how it influences the most modern music today. The first show we did is about uh, folk and folk rock and how that influenced... R.E.M., which is a band, I guess you had them on yes, at one point in yeah. time, yeah, yeah. who's uh, critically acclaimed, wonderful guy. A half hour show, an hour show? It's an hour show, and then what we do is we have like a jam with artists from the other era. We had John Sebastian, who was my co-host, and Roger McGuinn from The Birds, and guys from the band, and yeah. Richie Havens. Now, is, this sounds like a wonderful idea for a show, but, it, but is it easy to say, uh, think of a lot of examples where you can actually show influences from A to Z, or... Actually, it's, it, is, it is pretty simple, but you know, you got to put a lot of research into it. Mm -hmm. And, do you do uh, research on this show? I, I have, you know, I'm not a musicologist, so I'll yeah. admit that right straight out forward, but uh, I'm not a rock dilettante either, and I have been studying up on some things, and I found out, like for the folk rock show, I found out the answer to that question that I'm sure everybody here wants to know, how many roads must a man walk down before they call him a man? Uh -huh. And it's seven. It's seven, don't you forget that, and two of them have to be asphalt. So. <laughs> no, but anyway. <laughs> Hello, golly. We're having a good time now, aren't we? Yeah, we're having a fine time. So, uh, you're in enjoying it is it is it more difficult than you thought it would be to well, host your own show it is and david i mean you got to give this guy credit it's not an easy job being a host in fact like uh tomorrow i'm going to be interviewing blues great willie dixon and uh he's you know going to be see, talking i don't i don't know blue uh, willie, willie dixon, dixon? Yeah. okay well see, that's a problem yeah. <laughs> uh willie dixon wrote a lot of songs that people like uh, the rolling stones mm -hmm. and the doors and cream did right. and he's 
an older gentleman, and he grew up in the, the heat of the Deep South, you know. And tomorrow, I guess, we'll be talking about him working for the man down there and all the things that influenced him made him be a blues great. And me growing up in rural Illinois, I guess that, you know, I can relate in my own way. Uh, after a, a really hot day at the Tasty Freeze, I'd have to ride all the way home with the, with the top down, you yeah, know, to stay cool. So. <laughs> you had no, your own just, burdens. Yeah, my sure. own burdens, sure. they're so minor. No, but actually, it really is It's interesting to and find all these things. Do you, do you find blues in other cultures? Is there any... Uh, uh, instance no, of that? Uh, blues was a truly American yeah. uh, form, and it and it really did affect rock and roll. All jokes aside, it really affected everything. The Beatles, whoever sure. name it, name a, a band. <laughs> now, are you uh, also? Do you ever do any work musically with your husband? Well, oh yes, we have been. Uh, we write a lot of songs together. In fact, he's formed a band recently and is going to be looking for a record deal. I'm doing a record for A and M, but we wrote this song that we're really excited about because Diana Ross is going to record it. Oh, that's it. terrific! And uh, to have now, a person it, that sings "Stop in the Name of Love" singing a song yeah. of yours is kind of a thrill. Uh, so. Do you know the name of it? Can you tell us that? Or is uh, it... nobody makes me crazy like you do. Yeah, it's a little long title. I don't know what she's going to call it. But it will happen shortly. Yes. Yeah, and and happen. and you're continuing to record yourself? Yeah. All right. Yeah, and, and now is he? Would he uh, give up uh, acting and stuff to? pursue music or is this just a hobby well, for him it's not a hobby anymore i think that he really likes it you yeah. know and i think he he wants to do it so why not why not what the hell get everybody out there saying absolutely well you look terrific i especially like this this bauble here on your uh that brooch this that's very nice this came from a flea market in texas i'll have you know <laughs> it really did uh nice to see you again it's great to and be I, here. I couldn't be happier about your family that's Thank very you. nice she's Thanks, a sweetie David. uh carla devito ladies and gentlemen we'll be uh, back here with george wallace